Okay, so for question 21, I drew it out. So, we're trying to find where the chiral centers are. Chiral center will have carbon here, and then it's connected to four different elements or compounds. So, you have these two that they told us of. Okay, so I, I like to add the carbons in each corner. So, carbon, carbon. Helps me more when I can actually see the carbon. Okay, so here they told us that there are three different options. So carbons connect to three different things. Here there's a hydrogen, and but we don't have to draw those out. So you can see that it's connected to this, which is completely different compared to this, and this, and the hydrogen. They're all four different things. So four different. So we can check which other one has that. So here you have two hydrogens the same, so not an option. Two hydrogens, not an option. Here you have an OH. This is different, this is different, and so is this. So here you can have, you have a actual Charles Center. Here is a no. Here is also a no. Here is a no. Here you have this and these, so this is another chiral center. Then what else is there? Mm -mm -mm -mm. This is another chiral center. So one, two, three. So you have three more chiral centers. So D is the answer. Okay, first of all, there is no such we don't we don't take hot dilute or uh, cold concentrated, so either B or C. So when we have the hot concentrated MnO4 minus, I just used this alkene as an example. You get this, it splits it in the center, it splits it in the center, and you get an oxygen here and an oxygen here. So an oxygen is uh, 16 grams so if you have two oxygens then it's a total of 32 so it gained by it gained mass by 32 here though with the cold dilute it gives you an OH and an OH it will open up so open up OH and OH get two of these which is 32 plus hydrogen and a hydrogen so 32 plus a two hydrogen gives you 34 so which one increased by 34 is the cold dilute, so B is your answer. Then 23, the diagram shows a short length. Okay, so basically we have a total of four. The smallest it can be is this. This is the monomer, which is this. And the MR of that is 28. And the MR of the entire thing is at 10,000. So 10,000 divided by 28, is 357.1 approximately. So you can have about this many monomers in the entire polymer. So the answer would be B. Now here the lactide. Now which compound heating with an acid catalyst can produce the lactide? So here we I drew it out and if you cut these out because you can tell that this is an ester because it has the carboxylic here and the alcohol part here. So you draw it out then you come here. You have this with O and a carbon here and an O here. So it's the same as adding the hydrogen here. You got a carboxylic and the alcohol part. Carboxylic part. Now in order to name this, the longest chain gives the base name. So you can see one, two, three. So that is propane, ends with propane. Because you know how it's meth, eth, propane, and so on. Then the OH in the second carbon, so two hydroxy propanoic acids. So first carbon, second carbon. So two hydroxy propane noic acid because it is a carboxylic it ends with oic acid so the answer is c okay so 2,4 dnph both um, 
it dehydrates both aldehydes and ketones and the following reagent it, it can test only aldehydes so for the first part br and a br when you hydrolyze you get oh and oh and like they told us in the question if they're on top of each other they um spontaneously eliminate a molecule of water a water molecule goes out so you end up with this so this of course is an aldehyde and of course aldehydes react with phalanx reagent positive positively so we're trying to find what does not react with it and that would have to be a ketone now of course for b and c those um OHs aren't on the same carbon and so they can't eliminate and form a molecule of water and produce, you know, a carbonyl compound and so B and C are just out. But you see D forms a ketone, so that means it reacts positively with the 2,4-D and pH and not with the phalanx reagent. So D is just your answer for question 25. Okay, so for 26, this will react with the KCN with an S and to mechanism because this is a primary carbon so basically this is a nucleophilic substitution this is how the mechanism would look um, and the textbook explains it really well so I'm just gonna leave it to that X is KCN in K2H5OH, which is basically ethanol. Substitution with cyanide ions in ethanol. So that will give us CCCCN and the H's. Now we need to know what Y is. Y is HCl because here we are oxidizing it oxidize oxidize to give us CCC a carboxylic acid so then the answer would be C now question 27 Reducing the carboxylic acid makes aldehyde, and further reduction is a primary alcohol. So Q must be a secondary alcohol because it says cannot be made into a carboxylic acid, so then it must be a secondary alcohol. The only one that is a secondary alcohol is A, so A is your answer. Question 28. So we have the ethanol. And the MR is 46. So one mole is 46 grams. So how many moles is 2.30 grams? You're going to cross multiply. So it's going to be 2.30 divided by 46 gives you 0 0.05 moles. Now it's collected by distillation, so it should be aldehyde. But because it is boiled, okay. But since boiled under reflux for an hour, then carboxylic acid is the product. So you have here. Carboxylic, the MR is 60. So one mole of 60 grams, 0 0.05 moles is X, we don't know. Cross multiply, 60 times this, X will give you three. But then they told us only yield 60%. So change that to decimal, so three times 0 0.60 equals 1.80 grams, so the answer is C. Now for 29, the test for methyl ketone uses the alkaline aqueous iodine. So this is a methyl ketone because you have methyl, methyl, and then here's a ketone. This is a ketone. This is an aldehyde. This is a methyl ketone. And this is an aldehyde. So that would mean that D and B are out. So now we're trying to find uh, which one does not show optical isomerism. So not a chiral center. So 
no chiro center and no cis trans isomerism. So part C does have a chiral center because one of the carbons is connected to four different um, elements and and or compounds. So you have A, B, D, and E, and so it has a chiral center. That means it shows optical isomerism. So no, not C, then your answer will have to be A. Question 30. What could compound B? W, B. So here, when you add an excess of hydrogen and nickel, it's going to open up these um, double bonds and it's going to have hydrogen in it. It's going to open them up. Opens. So it's going to end up like this. Then when you add the hot concentrated acetyl manganate, this is an aldehyde. And when it gets oxidized, it turns into a carboxylic acid. So you'll have carboxylic acid at the end, so that means B is your answer. And we are done with the third part of this paper. One more part left, and we are completely done with the 2017 uh, summer paper one.